Chuck Richter from angelswind.com here. We got Samuel Adegari. Pronounce that right? Yes, sir. All right, good. Samuel, how are you doing today? Good. Good, good. Uh, how would you evaluate your season so far? Uh, I think I'm having a great season so far. Um, came here a week, uh, two weeks ago. It's a new experience, a new organization. I'm trying to get used to it, but like my teammates, uh, the staff, the front office, they give me a warm welcome, so I'm happy to be here. Great, great. Uh, what do you feel that you need to work on in order to, you know, reach your potential at the next level as a starting pitcher? Uh, I feel like I need uh, I need to work a little bit on location, visualize why for for hitters, but just uh, working a little bit more on on the walks. I think I'm walking a little bit too much, but I think it's part of the game. I, I'm still young. I just need to work a little bit more on it. What are you What are you most proud of of your, of your game and in, in uh, particularly like this season? Uh, of course, I was not expecting uh, to do so many strikeouts this year. Um, so I think it's something that I never tried to work on it. Uh, but as I already say, like a lot of times, if I get to two K, uh, I'm trying to put it the hitter away. You know, is a certain is there a, a pitch in mind that's your go to pitch when you're ahead of the count? I'm just trying to start uh, already ahead in the count, go first pitch for strike, and then get to two strikes as, as soon as possible, and then put away the hitters. But I'm a starting pitcher, so all I care is getting house and go like seven innings. Okay. Tell us a little bit about your, your pitches and your repertoire. So I have a four seam fastball, a curveball, a changeup, and a slider. Um, I work a little bit more on the last of season on the changeup, and now it's one of the best pitches probably. Um, I like my slider, it's more like a 2K pitch, but I'm having more feeling in the zone. I'm, I'm still working on it. And the curveball is a pitch like I can land for strike with no problem. Good, good. Um, I know you just got here, but have you seen any differences in philosophy or teaching uh, from the Phillies organization and the Angels? Or I just say I'm new here. I just came here <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Um, I don't see any, like any difference, like big difference. Um, of course, there is something like different, but I think the job is still the same, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what has been your best start today, whether as an amateur in in Italy or in pro ball since you've been over in the states? Uh, talking about like like a start, like what has been your like most memorable start? Uh, I don't know. I think I had a good start, a great start this year. Um, I went five innings with ten strikeouts and Ooh. I hit or won it against the Aberdeen when it was with the Phillies. Nice. Um, I think that's probably one of my best start. Nice. Who, who were some of your favorite players and teams growing up and, and, and maybe a starting pitcher that you kind of model your game after on the mound? I grew up watching the Boston Red Sox. Uh, me and my, bro my brother is a Yankees fan. <laughs> um, in Italy, they were the only teams that were streaming on TV. So I grew up watching Big Puppy, that nice. there it is. Yeah. Uh, but I follow Clayton Kershaw a lot. Okay. Especially when he came in in the league, like 2012, I was watching his video on YouTube. He's a lefty, I'm a lefty, so yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it's good. So somebody good to model your game after, yeah. right? <laughs> um, have the Angels given you any indication about throttling down your innings pitch as the season kind of comes to a conclusion with just what uh, six weeks, six or seven weeks uh, left? We didn't really talk about it. We're trying just to focus on the present moment. Um, we're trying to go game by game, and what we're trying to do now is push it more as possible. So last game I went 4.2, next game I'm trying to go at least six. Um, and then from there, I just want to go like at least six plus innings to the end of the season. So you make it to the major leagues. Uh, what is one hitter that you'd like to face and strike out? I mean, I think it's in the big, so every single hitter is yeah, so I yeah. just want to try to strike out everybody. Yeah, nobody in particular, like, I can't wait to strike that guy out. <laughs> I mean, probably I can go with a big hitters like Aaron Judge or Shoya Tani. There you go. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll kind of move on to the lighter side here. Um, so w what got you started playing baseball in Italy? You know, since soccer's the, the most common sport in Italy, what got you started playing baseball? Um, my father is a, was a soccer player and they were supposed to go play soccer. But my brother started to play baseball before me. Uh, my parents didn't have time to bring him to do any other sports. Um, so he started to play baseball and 
one coach came up to me one day. I was like three, four years old. I don't remember. He asked me to if I wanted to go play to try baseball, and I say yes. And from there, I just fell in love, and I tried to. I just follow my my brother's steps. Nice, nice. Um, all right. Uh, now we're really switching gears here. Uh, uh, having had Italian food in Italy growing up, and having had Italian American Italian food here, uh, what's your favorite of the two? And 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 what's a what's your favorite dish, the motherland and over here in the United States? Uh, from Italy, it's probably carbonara pasta. Oh, yeah. Or I'm a big pizza fan. Yeah. And in the U.S., I don't really eat a lot of Italian food here. Really. Um, I mean, I eat what we have at the field, but usually it's like Olive Garden or Carabas, <laughs> so it's not. That they're really good, but still full. That's the area. Yeah. Um, I had a couple of good pizzas, uh, especially in uh, when I was in Jersey. But yeah, probably pizza, my my to go. Any any good recipes that were bestowed upon you from uh, passed on to you from your parents or uh, grandparents? Uh, my mom, uh, my grandmother makes a great lasagna, nice. and uh, my mom makes a really good tiramisu. Oh gosh, that's yeah. good. Two of my favorites. Um, so d do Italians watch, I mean, you know, uh, the Godfather and, you know, the, the, the uh, Goodfellas and, and, the, you know, and the Sopranos as a, as a TV show. Is that something that you guys would watch from afar over there or is that a big thing? No, not really. I never, <laughs> I never watched this movie. It's just an series. American thing. Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's more American Italian. So the whole, you know, uh, gangster thing is kind of overblown, uh, the mafia stuff. I mean, we have a couple. We probably watch a couple movies. Like, I have some friends that watch a Padrino, but yeah. The Godfather, but yeah. I never watch, honestly. But probably <laughs> I should. Yeah, don't watch Godfather Three. It's not good. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, what's a traditional Christmas dish that you would have back home, or any tradition uh, during Christmas? The, that's a good question. We have a special, like a cake. It's a I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's called Pandoro. Yeah. It's a, like a cake, it's bread, it's sweet bread. Mm. Um, it's hard to explain. And we, we, it was a, we eat it with a cream. Ooh. And it's really good, yeah. Oh man, I love good dessert. Probably like, yeah, uh, I don't know. Like, and you mentioned lunch. tiramisu too. I love tiramisu. Oh yeah, yeah. I love tiramisu too. It's yeah. my, That's good big, stuff. Yeah. Um, what would a perfect day for you away from the ballpark look like? Uh, I like to spend a lot of times in the nature, so go hiking, whatever. Um, I started to do it last year, and I improved my mood. I feel way better when I'm outside, yeah. so that's what I like to do. But I try to like when I'm back home in Italy, I try to spend time with my family, my girlfriend, my yeah. friends. Um, I'll play a lot of video games, especially in the morning before I come to the field. But if I can go outside and spend some time outside, that's definitely what I want to do. Yeah. I know we're looking way ahead here, uh, but when you're done playing baseball, uh, what will your next career look like? I don't know. I never thought about it. Um, I'm trying to live the present. And yeah. Then when it's time to think about it, I think it. But for yeah. now, I don't know. I'll probably go back home, spend the rest of my life in Italy. But yeah. I don't know. Well, thank you so much for your time, uh, thank Sam. You, I appreciate you. Thank Good you. luck to the rest of the season. Thank you so much. Okay, bye.